We're here. Yeah. Welcome to the basement, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> a little delay on the floor. Yeah, that's a little, okay. A little slow, but it, it happens. how we're supposed to cue them. Uh, the basement. If you haven't tuned in before, this is basically where the internet stores its deepest, darkest secrets. And uh, we're here to let you in on them. We don't want to look at the outside of the car. We're looking to get under the hood, slide on one of those dollies. I don't even know what they're called. Underneath the car. I think they're called uh, crawl. No, I don't know. Does yeah. anybody know in the crowd? OK, we have zero people with mechanical <laughs> capabilities. We're off to a good start here. You guys ready for the first, uh, first video here? All right, well, there's another. <laughs> A little slow again, but I think, we'll, I think we're going to get there. I think as, as the on. show moves on, you guys are going to catch on. Yeah, it's early in the morning. All right, uh, let's take, so this first one, everybody knows that bullying is a huge problem, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a anti-bullying PSA, and we want to take a look at it and see if, it, uh, if it's an effective way to treat bullies. Let's get to it. You nerd. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, what are you looking at? Oh, Nothing. Boy. Looks like a mini Johnny Lawrence right we there. We should call you Dumbo. I mean, look at your ears. That's yeah. offensive. Ears. <laughs> what? His ears aren't Have even that ever big. Have you bullied, humiliated, and scared by someone bigger, stronger, or older than you? I've seen my share of wars on the basketball court. But the Where's last place... Wait, pause for a second. From? Wait, let's pause it for a Being second. Being uh, isn't fun. This guy's seen his share of wars on the basketball field? <laughs> Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, if you didn't know, played a lot in Vietnam during oh. the war. I heard his NBA finals were referred to as uh, the Korean War. Yeah, he got shot several times. Wait, on the court? On the court. And he played through it. He did play through it. He just put a Fuck. knee pad. It was the 80s. It was a different time. Kareem, I apologize. I didn't know that uh, fucking basketball was wartime. Does this kid know Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Like, he just called him up on it. This looks a little older. I don't think he had a cell phone. Uh, Maybe like the pay phone in the school? He's like, Kareem. He's like, hey, Kareem, can you do a PSA for me real quick about these fucking bullies? Uh, Look at his ears. That is a good point. Those ears aren't big at all. They're fine. Also, he's, he's going to grow into his ears. Like, say I were the bully, which I never would be, but I'd make fun of that shirt over the ears. If you were going to be a bully, though, you'd have to dye your hair blonde. Why yeah. are the blondes always the bullies? Blondes have more fun and they bully more. It's, it's a statistic. Those sleeves are way too long for a short sleeve. That's like his dad's shirt. And also, the other thing is, when he said, uh, have you ever been bullied by somebody bigger and stronger than you? What if you're getting bullied by someone half your size? Yeah, like Joe Pesci, every role he plays, he's like a badass guy. Goodfellas is all about Pesci being like, the biggest bully on the block, but he's 5'2". So I guess what we're saying is they may be losing some people. It's like, hey, my bully's 5'1", I'm 5'8". Yeah. I'm being bullied by like an eight-year-old girl, yeah. and I'm a 30-year-old man. All right, let's get back. Let's hear what Kareem, okay. get back to Kareem's uh, talk. Maybe here. if this guy didn't dress like an idiot, he wouldn't get bullied. Someone bigger, stronger, or older than you? I've seen like my share strength. of wars on the basketball court. But the last place you want to be at war is on what the street. What if they make fun of Kareem's Being ears? Being isn't fun. <laughs> That's why it's important for you, all of us, to become street smart. Whoa, get that street cred. Bully smart. For kids. This isn't for adults, I guess. Isn't that kind of a misleading title? Like, That's one bully smarter, bully, so you don't get caught? That's not a very good one. Avoid clothing that might make you look like you're part of a gang. Wait, Avoid pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. <laughs> What? Part of a gang? Who thinks that guy's part of a gang? How stupid are you? What kind of gang is that guy associated with? They do need to bully smarter. They're like, look at this fucking yeah. gang banger. What is, Even what? The, the guy's wearing red. Even the bloods would be like, no way. What? I don't think Gap has a gang. They're like, is this guy a member of the Abercrombies? Look at him come up here with his attitude. Yeah, there's no way that that guy's going to be misconstrued as a gang member. That guy could wear a shirt that says, I'm in a gang. And he, people are like, he's cool. <laughs> what is he, part of the CPAs? <laughs> part of a gang. Wearing khakis and a polo. <laughs> what are you supposed to wear if you can't wear that? Maybe this is a bully smarter. Like, this guy isn't part of a gang. Yeah, so yeah, we'll take this him. fucking guy. Areas where bullies are known to hang out. Tony's going to be our bully. Wait, today. pause it for a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, Whoa, that that's... kick was crazy. You see that thing? <laughs> but what He's if... lucky he avoided it with his hands behind his back in those jean shorts. <laughs> Did you see they showed that, that dirty alleyway? They're like, that's, avoid that's places where, where bullies yeah. hang out. How many times are bullies like, hey, meet me at that dirty alleyway or well, you tunnel? You know, like, every town is make out point. There's also yeah. Bullies Alley. And there's, oh, OK. So you're like, avoid that place. And what, since when do gangbangers wear just like oversized uh, 
shirts like those kids hanging out by the uh, edge of the school. I, I think that could, that's kind of a thing, no? Uh, those kids didn't look like gang members to me at all. Well, they were, they're bullies. They're not saying they're gang oh, members. Oh, well, I don't know. The one guy said, don't wear clothing that may make you associated with a gang. <laughs> so you're saying they're failing that test. I'm saying that this is, <laughs> let's, just, right, let's just continue on, because I think there's more Get to more this here. martial arts display. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! If I stand oh, there, he, he faked the kick! And he has all these areas. Fake the kick. You got something on your shirt. Oh! You got something on your shirt. Oh, he didn't fall for it. Oh, he's got the hand. Oh, don't, I get what's going stop. on. Don't come any closer. What do you want? Pause, hand. pause it. We watch MMA. You always see a guy go like this, and it just stops somebody in their tracks. <laughs> you can't go through the red no. light. Anderson Silva's main move was to grab someone by the shoulders and shake them. Hey, look at your shirt. <laughs> he would also fa look at that low kick. It looked like when he said, "Look at your shirt," he was gonna grab her boobs. He was like, <laughs> "I think, I think he was like, I think should the I actor it? playing it wanted to, and they're like, he probably did it once, and they're like, dude, what are you doing here?" You I think it's an off, they're an off-screen couple, and so uh, he feels so comfortable with her that he okay. almost forgot that they weren't in their bedroom doing like the stuff they're into. What's the deal with the punches? These. Those? You've never bullied somebody like that? Just yeah, quick. Like doing like a just, speed bag of their quick, face? Just quick noggin <laughs> knockers. That's is how that what they're called? Yeah. Noggin knockers? That's how confident he is that he can just mess with you. He's just going to go like this? Yeah, he's not face. going for knockouts. Okay. He's going for points. So, uh, all right, put your hand up, and uh, basically it renders all attacks useless. Why is this guy dressed like he's on the set of Pawn Stars with the <laughs> polo? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's get back into it. What do you want? I was just wondering what we did in math. Most bullies are going to be <laughs> Wait, larger, what? This stronger, guy just wanted to know what they did in math. Them. That's what he said. He goes, I just wanted to know what, what they did in math class. Well, that was a good, it's a good social thing to be anyone who comes yeah. at you, what do you want? And they're like, oh, I just wanted to know the homework for English. I've been sick. Let's keep Jesse rolling. That's Jesse Spanos from Saved by the Bell. Stronger and better <laughs> this is the only work she get after never showgirls. Never be ashamed to run. We will teach you some stun techniques and dirty tricks. Hey, dirty tricks? You, leave me alone. Well, we just wanted you to. I said leave me alone. Oh, Pretty man. good, huh? Uh-oh. Be careful not to grab the hair loosely. It will make the hair pull less effective. What's Wait, the guy's wearing you? a toupee? Love to. <laughs> In high school? Oh, my God. So just do that and just we run. Each make a the fix. bully can't run. They are but we don't want to teach you how to punch. Instead, we fill Wait, a Pause it for one effect. second. So if you pull a guy's hair and cock his head to the left. And then run quickly. He's totally defenseless. Yeah, you, she broke. That was a neck break. Oh, she snapped his the guy's yeah, dead? he's dead. How do they even know what this guy wanted? We like, wanted to know what happened in math, but they, they're like, fuck math, we're gonna break your neck and then we're gonna run away. Yeah, what about the guys that came up outside? What if they wanted to give him a check for $100? And he's like, whoa, you pieces of shit, stop. What if it's a new Ed McMahon? He's like, it's a million dollar check. Yeah. <laughs> and then they break his neck. It's, it's the kid's version of Ed McMahon? Make sure you don't grab the hair loosely. All right, let's get back okay. to playing. Instead, we feel a slap is more effective. Slap's always better than a punch. Wait, that's, that's an elbow. Another effective slap is to the bully's groin. Oh. How come his didn't make any sound when he slapped his crotch? Because he wasn't hard. Oh. Oh, a Charlie horse knee. Once you've stomped on the bully's foot, run away, and we guarantee that he will be slow to follow. Wait, Wait pause All it right. for a second. Is this like a money back guarantee? <laughs> like if he kicks your ass, do you get kicked the shit out of them? I don't know, I'm just focused on her mom jeans and they're distracting me. It's like, she's gonna trip. She runs away in those things. How can you guarantee that a bully is not gonna chase after you when you just literally stomp his foot lightly? Dude, they're wearing street smart polos. You know they know what they're talking That's true. about. All right, I'm gonna, I'll take their word for it. Let's, uh, let's continue on. Biting is another simple technique. Biting? Oof. Oh, she bit his titty. That man has AIDS. She just got <laughs> HIV. Oh, no. Uh-oh, now Maybe he's got the upper hand. hand. Sure. Oh, this guy's trained. Don't roll over on your stomach, because the bully will grab your head. Look like pride fighting. Stomach. Throw the candy in his face. Oh, candy. So it gives me enough time to run. All I have to do is throw the water right in his face. If a bully Wait, is approaching you. pause for you, a second here. Who, who's carrying candy open-handed as they walk down the street? These kids hang out with a lot of elderly people, so they always have hard candies 
on them to throw. Did they think that maybe they're being bullied because they're carrying candy and the bullies are like, oh, I want some of that oh, candy? You think the smell is attracting yeah. the bullies? That's it's a like, good point. Do you point. smell that? Jolly Ranchers. Somebody's carrying them open palmed. Like, is that juju bean somebody's carrying? <laughs> I'm going to fuck that guy up and get him. <laughs> I smell milk duds. I'm, I think it's offensive that, you know, say a fat kid's bullying you and you throw candy in his face and he's diabetic. Yeah. That's a really rubbing the salt in the wound. That's true. And what is this candy uh, doused in mace? How is candy in the face going to be like, I'm blind, I can't see anything? What if they eat the candy and then kick your ass? Catch it all in their mouth? I think it's dangerous. This may have been yeah. filmed around Halloween where you have a surplus of candy. I've got to be honest with you, I never walked down the street with just a palm full of candy ready to throw, but maybe I should. I carry a frozen baby Ruth. I don't like weapons, so I just okay. use it as like a club. I carry a frozen... Uh, chocolate-covered banana. Jesus. And I'm just deep-throating it as I walk down the street. That may attract a different kind of... Uh, yeah, a different kind of bully? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a little bit old school, so we, uh, we've gone ahead and uh, found a newer school bully yeah. PSA. We've kind of updated it for the 21st century. Let's take a look at it. I'm yeah. making fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, man. So I'm just slightly anti-Semitic. Hey. 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 Look who the fuck it is. <laughs> What are you doing, yeah, Alley dork? Uh oh. <laughs> Being bullied isn't fun. So here are a few tips you can use to keep those pesky bullies from making you their next victim. You may not know this, but your voice is actually a weapon. Ah, come on, guys. Just leave me alone. I have to go home and bake cookies with mother. Shut up. If politely asking them to stop doesn't work, fear not, because you can use your voice to call for help. Somebody help me! Excuse me. Oh, yeah, no, of oh, course. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, now you're in a real pickle. Nobody's gonna help you, butt face. <laughs> yeah, butt face. But don't worry, slowly reach behind you and pull out a homemade knife or shank. Ah! It burns! Money! Now, pick the main bully. This is usually the one that does most of the talking. Stab him several times in the abdomen and then the chest. Once the bully's on the ground, do something to convince the others that you mean business. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's cutting my dick off! No! Oh, he's cutting my dick off! Oh, my dick! Oh! 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 done yet. Remove the shank from the body and leave the scene. Dispose of the weapon. With no murder weapon, it can be very challenging for a prosecutor to get a conviction. Not so fast. His family may vow revenge, so take the fight to them before they come to you. Good job, but it doesn't end here. You're gonna need to move to a country that doesn't have extradition. Moldova is beautiful this time of year. Go there and create a new life for yourself. Don't give another thought to those mean old bullies who tried to ruin your day. And it's just that easy. And now you know how to get bullies off your back. Tune in next week when we teach you how to get your pimp to stop slapping you. Oh, that was amazing, right? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I think our way is way more effective. I agree with you. And uh, Speaking of effective ways to battle, we got uh, these people out here kicking some ass in San Diego. Yeah, we're going to keep the theme alive. Yeah. Let's, let's take a, let's look, take at a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Watch people fight lightsabers. Hi, style. my name is Jennifer Clark. I'm with the lightsaber team. We're here in Balboa Park, and we're starting our first meeting of the San Diego lightsaber team. Well, thank you, and welcome. Welcome, Woo! welcome. We're really well, excited all, for everyone to be like here. Uh, we have some business first as we get started. I have some liability waivers here. <laughs> I'm part of a group uh, that works with the Inland Empire, lightsaber team up there. What an injury critic. Look at these fucking people. What are you going to do? 
I, tennis elbow? I have lightsaber wrist. I can't. I got to sue you guys. <laughs> I stepped in dog shit. I ruined my <laughs> shoes. You By guys way, owe me a new pair. That's a good point you make. Because say you're just trying to have a romantic uh, picnic with your girlfriend in this park. Yeah. And then you see these nerds with broomsticks and tennis rackets. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what qualifies as a lightsaber? Basically anything? I mean, it's not real. So, I, yeah, I guess. I, foam noodles. So th these people are saying, like, we're into Star Wars so much that we're going to take the fictional weapons yeah. we use and, and use that as some form of fighting. And guys, like, one guy's like, I got so much titty sweat in my shirt that I can't get it clean. You guys owe me a new shirt. <laughs> but he signed the waiver. So now they're like, fuck you. Do you think any of them were like, wait, I, my lawyer needs to look over this before I sign anything? I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> brought their lawyer with them. Be like, I'm not going to sign my life away. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a lawyer looked at it and goes, yeah, I don't want you as a client anymore. Some people, I think, would think this is stupid, just be like it's Star Wars. What, but I took a fishing class that was just based on Jaws. In a park? Yeah. <laughs> we just, were just throwing the line out? Yeah, we were just on a Winnebago. We were in the park. They teach us yeah. how to like, spear sharks. You just throw it into the grass. I actually think this is a bigger issue because I think our parks are being abused by these people. Like, there's people in my park, they do stick fighting, where they basically put, like, couch pillows on their arms and stuff, That's and then they cool. beat each other with sticks. That sounds cool. I think it's totally inappropriate. So we, do you want to start bullying these people? I think that we should throw candy in their face. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe candy in the streets, and they'll run out and go get it. Judging by the Jedis, I think the candy would uh, <laughs> cause a feeding frenzy. <laughs> do you think that the actual... Well... I guess it's all mind power, but is there any, uh, to get into be like a real Jedi in Star Wars, was there any physical endurance yeah, test? Yeah, it, well, it's like a fraternity. You got to do time. You get hazed by the uh, older. Okay. Obi-Wan, like, puts his balls on your head while you're sleeping. <laughs> like so you said there's, there's a ton of hazing there. Oh, a lot of hazing. Okay. Why do you think Luke Skywalker gets such a shitty haircut? They were really putting him through the... You wake up with, like, Yoda's pubes been shaved <laughs> off and, and on your face. By the way, how low is this guy in the totem pole that he used to carry the equipment? I thought that was a woman. That's a dude, I think. Oh, that's a dude, okay. And they're like, hey, man, you got to carry the uh, sticks we made that are supposed to be light. <laughs> that we wrapped in foam? <laughs> but, I, I don't agree. If you're going to do this, I think you should definitely do it in your own backyard. Stop abusing public lands. And by the way, to piggyback on the bullying, I think this guy, to avoid bullying, should not have his uh, strap go through his tits. <laughs> so it's just calling attention to those big, beautiful breasts. Beefers. Yeah. Yeah. Those are Jedi worthy. Let's hit play and see these people Let's fight. take a look. There, who does fitness and choreography with lightsabers. I absolutely love what they do. It's just a little hard to drive to Inland Empire for regular meetings. So uh, <laughs> I thought kind of let's have one that here in San funny. Diego. I'm sure there's other people who'd love right. to come out and uh, play with lightsabers. I get to have Very a lightsaber. Good. I get to play Wait, this lady's a Jedi? Fight. Yes. Yeah. I am an only child. And Why is she uh, curling it? Why is there being an only like child a really combination of like fake fighting, looking That's a good, good point. I like that they lightsaber. all have name tags. All the um, Jedi do not wear name hurt. tags. Well, I saw on meetup.com there was a lightsaber group, oh, um, which is cool. I love sci-fi and I love Star Wars. Uh, I've also it looks kind of like Theo Vaughn. European martial arts for a while. <laughs> Theo so, Vaughn was in uh, a lightsaber play. <laughs> it could be. It's the same thing. So I thought, oh, thought this I'd guy is a ringer. I uh, ah. realized that, you know what, Star Wars is one of Look the Look at these people walking by going, and what I wanted the to fuck are these guys doing? Well, this with, guy's got a Jedi ponytail. Uh, my workout time and my socialization time. I wanted to find my tribe. I wanted to find people socialization? like the things I like. Uh, could understand my Dude, references. Dude, if you fight slow-mo, these guys are going to fuck you up. Enjoy the things that I enjoy. Why I'm does really the guy on the right deep. have the longer I'm a saber? Star Wars fan, and I'm here personally to get exercise. The only way I'll get exercise get is exercise? to be a Jedi. <laughs> Usually our, our meetings consist Wait, pause of it for a, a nice second. Get yeah, exercise. <laughs> so she's saying the only way I get exercise is by being a Jedi Knight. I mean, this exercise, you, just, you could do it in your living room. This is an exercise. You could just sweep your house, get better <laughs> exercise than this. Imagine going to the gym and you're just like, hold on, guys, and you take out whatever they're using and do these stupid routines. And you're just hitting people in the face <laughs> while they're trying to do leg presses. Why is it all so slow? And by the way, if you can wear jeans, I don't know if it's exercise. Look at that lady in the back. She's not dressed for exercise. Yeah, I agree 100%. That lady on the right, like, she thought this was an aerobics class. Her boyfriend took her, and she's like, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what this is. I love the backdrop. Somebody was probably playing an impromptu game of soccer, and they're like, why don't you guys go play by the wall? I'd love to see a homeless guy right between those two trees. It's taking, taking a shit. Yes, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or jerking it. So like the lady in the tight spandex. They're like, can you leave? He's like, hey, man, I'm, this is my jerk-off class. I could see if the camera panned right to the right, you just see him there. They're like, dude, can you stop? Please. <laughs> like, I love Jedi play. Uh.
Let's play it. Can we fast forward? I would also like to see one of these people joking around just deep throating this lightsaber stick. But Billy Madison's in the class. All right, let's 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 go through. Usually our, our meetings consist of a, a nice warm up to get the muscles loosened up, and then we go into practicing forms. We have a couple of different styles we do to practice, and you don't want to get splitters on that broomstick for handle. Future choreography, so you're learning how to sort of theatrically stage shoes, a duel between two people. They walked us through the basic stance of uh, using a lightsaber. This guy really wants um, to some kill of their somebody. basic sweeping motions, uh, which are really cool. Who set the, uh, from the ground up? So who determines these evaluate, forms? You know, this what guy? are your strengths? Yoda. What, what weapon works best for you? Look at this guy crying. You can um, see his nuts People have different body styles, different backgrounds. Oh, he it says, rather short blade, but a long stick, and this is what you use when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and so far, well, you're I've an only to child spot, who would have taught you. And I've learned yeah, to swing, no and I've learned to switch it. And then we swing. Is she too old to have purple hair, or is that her natural color? I was just thinking All of the our same stuff exact is choreographed. thing. Our, our goal is never to have full contact fighting. Um, we understand sometimes those things happen, but it's never our goal to actually. Sometimes those things happen. Yeah, that blonde well, we guy who used to be a bully is probably in there. Saber to work the out shit with. Out of shit, he's tightening and up his rod. Some of the other companies well, this is the equipment are fairly expensive. Classic so pedophile glasses that turned dark. Yeah. To find yeah. Some more affordable he's like, no, let's definitely do it in the kids near the playground. Think he's rivals with the other ponytail guy? He's like trying to take his spot. So we you, you're saying there can only be these, one ponytail Jedi? Yeah. Staff, spear type weapon. Mm -hmm. It basically consists of only three parts, the blade itself, the body, and a little, another piece of metal to Does he make just these hold at the blade, home? Uh, no. Yeah. Securely. Stepping forward, uncurling, sweep to the legs. I think his mom's like, you ruined another it's one of my brooms. To train sticks. their bodies, first of all. So that I they think can his mom stopped talking to him and long ago. Not look like, awkward. We made you a private entrance clumsy. into the basement. And that guy's got his for keys many of us, belt, get in a lot better him. shape. Increase Dude, their this cardio. This guy's a psycho. The shaved uh, guy is just like, let fitness, me hit somebody, uh, please. Increase their endurance. He just wants this guy to tell him that he's worthy. We have about five different speeds. When we're learning and teaching people the movements, we go at 1% speed. this Asian guy. Look at He's been working out hard. You tell you're in great shape. Very slowly. That other guy looked like the, uh, you know, the guy from the last dragon that just let himself go. You can go, go as fast <laughs> as you can. One percent is our Tai Chi speed. No, oh. no, 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 no! I'm sorry. Watch I out. meant as hard as you can. Ooh, you punked him. No, 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 no! I meant really as hard as you can. Oh, oh that guy got. Okay. Look how mad he is. The guy on the left. <laughs> he's he's a good job and it's dance. Like, fuck you! I'll kill you. One hundred ten percent. We want you to go as fast as you. Possibly can. One more time. The guy in the shades doesn't know what he's I feel like I'm getting a workout. My thighs are going to be so Dude, that guy on the left, can we pause it for a second? We also should wrap this one up. But the guy on the left looks like a prison guard during the day, and he's getting so, he like wants to work his frustration out on these fucking, these Jedis. Yeah, he seems like he has a, he has some emotional problems. He's got a couple loose screws. What kind of, do they, do they do any like background checks? Like what if you're just an absolute psycho and you start nailing people in the throat? With what them? if you just have a real samurai sword that you cover in foam <laughs> and you're just fucking chopping people? That's a good idea for when we join this yeah. lightsaber team. <laughs> like, no, no, it's cool. We need to start our, uh, the Danish and O'Neill lightsaber team. Yeah. And we I fight like, good. we put like diseases on our weapons. Oh, better yet, why don't we, uh, the Danish and O'Neill bullwhip team. Oh. We just go out there and whip the shit out of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's move on. I, I, we could watch these people the rest of our yeah. lives, but are we really going to learn anything? No. Yeah. We'll learn what not to do. With this next time. video, though, we are going to learn a lot, I have a feeling. Oh, I'm excited. What do we have here? We have one of the best martial artists in the world. OK, let's take a look. He's going to show us how to fight properly. Oh, my god. Whoa. Oh. Why'd this guy stop that? Watch Whoa. out! Oh! Pause it. What if he goes to supercuts and just turns his head by accident? And, and breaks he, a guy's hand? He kills the woman cutting his hair. Like, his, his body is naturally attuned to danger, so when scissors come near him... Yeah, it's, he just does, like, his hair is what's the weapon. The guy's like, oh, my fingers have just been shattered. Is this a porno set that they're like, we're not using it for the day, let's give it to this martial artist and his friends? I think this is also, like, a city park. Because this isn't this guy's backyard. What kind of city park is like a koi pond in Asian themes? I think there's Asian-themed koi pond parks. I want to hang out there. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to run into this guy a lot. 
I like that he's not wearing a matching uh, top and bottom karate. Well, it looks like he's wearing uh, karate gi pants, but a polo shirt. Yeah, I think on he top. was. I think he was golfing, and he's like, "Shit, I only have the the bottoms." So I he, think he golfs in karate gi pants. I would hope so. And no club. He just uses his mind to send the ball to oh, the hole. Oh shit! You think he's that good? And he's on the PGA tour, actually. The guy on the right uh, to call back looks kind of like a short cream of Jabbar. Oh, <laughs> he, seen, he looks like he's seen some wars out on the blacktop. He's seen some wars in that koi pond. <laughs> Look at that guy with the spread eagle fall. They're just smelling his pants. Again, I think you can see, it looks like he has nutsack sweat dripping out of those geep. <laughs> That's the second time you've honed I'm, in on a man's nutsack. I'm noticing these things. It's not my fault. It's uh, the martial arts. Is that, yeah. I think uh, you probably won't get this, but I think it's Bill Lambeer from the Detroit Pistons. Oh, uh, I, I know Bill Lambeer. That's him right there. <laughs> How dare you say that Bill Lambeer let himself go like that? He did. Bill Lambeer was like seven feet tall. Bill Lambeer is a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. All right, let's hit play. Let's see what else this guy's got in store. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh-oh, I fear for these people. Is this a limbo at a bar mitzvah? Whoa! 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 Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's typically when... <laughs> why a, are they giggling? A good oh! How is he doing this? With his mind? I like how calm he is. Pause it. He's like, look, man, you can't oversell it. I'm trying to make this look real. Yeah. You can't be doing the screaming. I've talked to you about this. I think that's why the women aren't in these, because they were doing a lot of giggling. Yeah. Where do you find these people who are like, hey, you guys want to do some fake martial arts in a, a field with Fake? Them? Yeah. What are you talking about? I apologize if I believe this may not be real. I thought you were going to say, where do you find people that will willingly allow them be, themselves to be subjected to this sort of torture? Are they signing waivers? Because this no. guy, once you grab that pole, once you grab his pole, he's going to be jerking you around with it. It seems like when the women grab the pole, um, he may the be doing got bigger. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> it seemed to be affecting them differently. Maybe he's tickling the vagina with his mind. Whoa. I didn't even think it. This of could that. be a Me Too situation. This could be. This guy could be mentally stimulating their clitorises. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He could be mentally making everybody uh, horny. And this guy definitely has gold chains on, doesn't he? I would hope. I'm not one to talk. Yeah. But all right, let's keep moving through here. By the way, meticulous line. <laughs> on me. Whoa, whoa. What's he gonna do? Oh, gently down. This is how I put my and baby to sleep. sleep every night. I do slow motion. This lady hates it in the top. She won't fall down. She's giggling. Look at that reaction. Oh, her, I think that's his wife. He's like, she's he's like, like, I don't want to do this like, anymore. Tina, just fall down. Fuck the grass stains. Who cares? Yeah, that is a bad thing to, with these white ghee pants, grass stains. Yeah. Look at that guy. He got choked. On the, he's, he's that guy choked seems out. to get the worst of it every time. He hates that guy. That guy fucked his wife one year. You mean Tina? At the Christmas party, they had sex. You're saying there's a Christmas party for this. Why wouldn't there I be? I would love to go there. So what does the guy do? You've had enough punch, and they just fucking <laughs> knocks it out of your hand without touching you? Yeah, and you're like, who was that? And you're like, oh, sensei. I'd hate to see that guy when he gets drunk. Does he just de-pants you with his mind? <laughs> I, I don't know. Is he just punching you in the face without... I, I wish he was here. How's that car doing? It's not bad. Mileage is better than I thought. Really? Can you hook me up with your guy? Your sister-in-law's a doctor, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I was crazy. That's fucking wild. Yeah, try it at 2 in yeah. the morning. <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Sensei Larry's here. What? Yeah, he's fucking... Oh, here he comes. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, man. What's up, dude? Sensei. <laughs> yeah. It flies down. I wasn't talking to you. Your fly's down. <laughs> My fly's not down. It's not. I just went to the bathroom. I said, Are you up. sure? Yeah. Because I can see your tiny little dick poking its head out. Motherfucker. <laughs> good one, man. That's good. Yeah, good uh, that. Why are you slapping yourself? Hey, man, cut it out. Ah. We're just trying to have a good time here. Will you please pull your pants up? God. Damn it! Come on, man! Fuck. God damn it. Come on. It's not cool. Just be cool. I'm trying to be cool. I'm just messing around. <laughs> Look, man. Like, I think you probably had one too many. Why don't yeah, you just leave us alone? We're not in class. We're not alone. So why do you want me to leave you alone? 
don't even get what that means. Hey, man, look, everything's cool, all right? Just... If everything was so cool, why would I have a piece of pizza on my hand like this? I don't know how to answer that, Sensei. It doesn't matter how you answer it, as long as you answer it. Why are you choking yourself? Come on, man. Stop it, dude. You're gonna hurt it. Come on, man. Dude, stop. Just leave him alone. Seriously. Look, man, we don't want any trouble. I never touched him. I didn't touch him. I know what you're doing. <laughs> How do you know what I'm doing unless you're doing what I'm doing? I don't know. You ever been punched in the face with another man's brain? Ah. Look, man, you're hurting him. Just, Just asking him a question. No, you're not. I, we all know what you're doing. We take class with you. Sensei. Look, I get it. This isn't safe. I don't hey, look, let's it. just go. Look, guys, I'm sorry. No odd feelings. What are you doing, man? Put him down. What are you doing? He's dead. He broke his fucking neck, man. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Ah! This part is lame. Oh, I almost forgot. I didn't get any cake. Evidently, that's also an effective way to treat bullies. Yeah. Use your mind. All right, let's, uh, let's get on to our last segment, shall we? Now, uh, in previous episode, we uh, did a story about a man in New York who fought his whole life to get the nunchuck uh, ban taken away. We actually have a clip from a previous episode. Uh, we'll show you that now. This is, uh, this is the tale of a man named Steve Maloney. He was arrested in 2000 for possession of nunchucks in the state of New York. That's crazy. A lot of people aren't talking about this. You cannot have, pos you can't have nunchucks in New York. And the reason is, because of the martial arts craze in the 70s, uh, like a ton of martial arts movies came out, and they thought that the youth of the time would see the weapons and decide to use them to attack people on the streets. Yeah, I think uh, if, if Bruce Lee did anything negative, that would be it, because they, yeah. they said he was one of the big reasons. All right, now that you're all up to speed, yeah. let's dive into this, uh, to this nunchuck update that we have. I, uh, I let them use this picture from my apartment. Uh, for this segment. Is that, are you wearing a hood or is that your hair? Oh, that's not me, that's a guy I'm a fan of. Okay, okay. <laughs> Those are nice nunchucks, look. Yeah, he, no, has metal. he doesn't you, have any foam padding. But you have a string, this guy's got metal in between Oh, well, you know how I feel. I'm a purist, yeah. I like the strings. That is it, where do you buy a uh, sleeveless hood? <laughs> is that the Andrew Dice Clay summer line? I think you make that yourself. <laughs> I think you cut that with scissors. Okay, and he's like, leave the hood, don't touch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like how he's pointing. Yeah, so the update is... Yeah, the update is that Arizona has overturned, and New York has overturned it. So now they're, they're now legal. Yeah, In legal. Arizona. Yeah. So oh, if you're wow. in Arizona, start carrying those chucks. Yeah, uh, man, look, look at that. that. <laughs> this is... That cat that's in Arizona is like, fuck yeah, finally. I can be a karate champion. I've tried to get my cat to learn martial arts. It did not work out well. Yeah. For me, because it learned too well, and now it's beating <laughs> the shit out of me all the time. Well, that's not the one you killed with a spin kick. No, uh, no. I said second? you gotta block the kick. Yeah, the second one? Okay. Yeah. Actually would love to use two cat tails tie them together and use the cats as nunchucks. They didn't tell you that in the bullying thing, that if you abuse animals, you might be a psychopath. Oh, what you should do is carry a dog with you and just throw it at the bully. <laughs> <laughs> like a German Shepherd? Yeah, that you don't feed. Just throw take the it. muzzle off and then throw it at him. But it would attack your candy pocket immediately. A throw. Oh, what you do is you throw raw meat on them, blood, raw, and then you throw uh, a dog, like a rabid dog on them. <laughs> Jesus. It's like a yeah. dark it's, it, it's a lot of preparation to treat these bullies. Yeah. You're better off just letting them beat the shit out of you, I gotta be honest with you. For real. It's way less prep. This cat's scaring the shit out of me. 
I think we overestimated the amount of material on this nunchuck cat. Yeah. Can we pull a fast one and go back to the bullying? <laughs> you want to go back? All right, yeah, let's take a look. Why not? Sometimes you got to date your ex-girlfriend one more time. I just agree. To see, what, see, what, see if the magic is still there. Effective slap is to the bully's groin. Well, that one made a sound. How do you expect the guy to come if you just slap it? Oh. That was oh, the old. weakest. Once you've stomped on the bully's foot, If you foot, slap him in the groin, away, do you know how angry he's going to get? He will yeah. be slow to follow. What you should do Thanks. is slap right. it and then grab it and squeeze it. Biting is Kiss another it. simple technique. Yeah, let's start sucking it. <laughs> and then the bully won't be angry anymore. If a bully is approaching you, you've got a magazine, just roll it up, hit him, and run. What is he, a fucking puppy? Leave me alone. So basically, you need to walk to around with a magazine, a trouble, handful huh? of candy, and a cup of water? Oh, I could just slap that Cow. guy. Pow. Oh, he's never going to be able to get up from that. <laughs> That's going to ruin his hair for life. Yeah. They're like, what's wrong with your hair? Oh, 20 years ago, this guy grabbed it and threw me to the ground. Who walks out of the house like they're getting ready to take a shit? They've got their candy, their magazine, and a cup of water. <laughs> I got my cup of water. I, just, I got my magazines. I so got every... my uh, El Pato enchilada sauce in case when some of the crowd bull charges me, I throw it in their face. So every child needs to walk around like he's like a 47-year-old man. That's why these kids have scoliosis, is they're carrying not only their books, but also yeah. stuff to combat the world. That's crazy. Yeah. And also, do you, who carries magazines now? Everything's digital. Well, then you throw your laptop in their face. Oh, you're like, hey, take a look at this magazine. Yeah. You're like, you see this website, and then you break it over their head. <laughs> You're like, good thing that was my fake laptop. My real laptop's in my bag. They, we almost forgot. Um, on this show, we always have a, a comedic guest do a little stand-up. Yeah, and a lot of these shows, you see on the late-night shows, the, the comic is facing the audience. Yeah, and which, the host, they actually don't get to enjoy the act whatsoever. So we're going to do it a little differently here on the basement. We're going to have the comic face us so we can enjoy it. And so the audience won't enjoy it at all. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing one of the best comics, international superstar. Get it for Feng Chao, guys. I'll actually be doing all of the recording for this. If I could figure out how to turn the camera on. Where's the power button? Oh, here we go. I think this is it. <laughs> Brian good stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, he went too far on that one. I don't think he went far enough. <laughs> oh man, keep going, keep going. Yeah, uh, yeah we gotta go. Keep going. <laughs> so over? No?